Welcome to the Panic Button. I'm Nina. I'm Jesse. Make sure you like and subscribe on this video. Drop a comment below. You'll like it. Well, disagree with us, agree with us. I'll, I'll reply to you somehow. My girlfriend acts like a dog and I like it. Kinky. That's what this, uh, this guy's saying. This is Lorenzo. He fell in love with Jenna. I think my favorite thing about Jenna is her ability just to embrace who she is as a puppy. Puppy play is extremely important in my relationship. That's where a lot of like my my love languages lie. Despite living a puppy dream, this canine couple have had. No. <laughs> I just, I just want to tell you something because it tripped me out when I heard it. Yeah. And I need to share it with you. Mm -hmm. I had an ex who at one point said that when she couldn't, find, like, when she had trouble falling asleep, she just pictured herself locked in a cage. <laughs> and I was like, why? I'm so confused. Why well, am not surprised? But I'm so confused by what it all means. Why do you want to be locked in a cage? Why does she want to be locked in a cage? Whatever. The love la my love language is being a dog. Um, That's when I'm confused. Okay, let's take a step back. Can you, can you flip the script and maybe see some advantages to being a dog from a relationship standpoint? What are you, stupid? No. If I'm a human, no. I get paid for. I get fed. I'm loved. I don't have to have a job. Or not have sex, because that's bestiality by then. I don't see anything beneficial, but I don't know. But then maybe they'll tell us something I don't know. I'm just saying that, like, she probably <clears throat> doesn't have to work and shit, so she probably gets a lot of benefits out of this. Does she poop outside, too? Oh, my God. That's a great question. <laughs> there are neighbors look out every morning and see her sitting in the yard. Water. I definitely do get a lot of hate. This person is just absolutely mental, like, out of their mind. When we're in public, it can be a little bit Doug's embarrassing bubbles? at times. Does she sniff Doug's butts? <laughs> Does she <laughs> allow them to, like, hump her? Boy we dogs be mountain we can't people. Leave like that. We can't leave that in there. <laughs> Why not? It's a valid question. I would hope not. Did she drink out of the toilet bowl? And drinking out of, out of a water bowl is different from a dog for a dog than a human. So... She's barely the, getting any hydration. Are they going to the dog park right now? Uh, <laughs> I think they are. Be a little bit embarrassing at times. Oh, <laughs> they do this in public. Maybe she does shit in front I of people. I met Jenna at a photo shoot last oh, year. She's using her hands. We Doesn't sort of count. Almost right away on set. After they met, there was one thing that Jenna had to make sure Lorenzo was on board with. So I started first pretending that I was a puppy when I was really, really little. That's what kids do. They pretend they're a dog or a cat or whatever, and they play around with their friends, and they run around on their hands and their knees, and they do it until they're like, maybe like 10, 11 years old, and then they start not doing that anymore because it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, if a little boy is pretending to be like Superman when he's a little kid, wearing the cape and everything like that, you don't see him when he's an adult trying to jump off a tall building thinking he can fly. I want to speak to the commissioner. <laughs> How many kids religiously wear superhero costumes, animal costumes, because they want to be or emulate that character? It's not weird when you're a kid. No. It's weird when you're an adult. Out in public, it's weird. Do what you will <laughs> inside, in your home. Inside, we're, we don't have to see it. It's like, fine, do you do you, but uh, I, I, if you're doing it at home, yes, it's fine. If, but if, if I'm like, <laughs> yeah, if, we're at a, if I'm in a dog <laughs> park and my dog, dog starts like mounting you because you think <laughs> you're a dog, <laughs> I'm just gonna phone it in. If I'm going no. home, out of here, I am out of here. I quit. I'm not even. I'm not even letting the dog get to the point where he could mount her. <laughs> I'm leave if I see a human running around on their hands and their knees with a rope and then sticking their face in the communal water bucket for the dogs, I'm gonna leave. I mean she's not even trying to be a dog correctly. She's on her knees. It's a kink. I know. But if you're gonna believe that you are it, then be it. Don't yeah. half ass your kink, knees. especially if you're on, on her fucking knees. knees. Wait, what is she supposed to be on if she's a dog? On your fucking feet, on your four legs, right? Not on your knees and hands. What is that? You're a baby. You're a toddler. What do you want her to get surgery to remove everything 
put her knees? I don't know how you want to She's do going. this. <laughs> I don't know. Continue. <laughs> My mom to like play with the dogs <laughs> with me, so I would just be one of the dogs. And my parents always asked when I was going to grow out of it. <laughs> but um, I never did. Jenna lives a puppy it's life. It's sad they let her do that. to make sure Lorenzo would be the right owner for all her puppy needs. Did when I first told him about floor? this, he didn't shy away at all. He just was like, okay, cool. Like, so what do I need to do? So puppy play really was something that I've learned a lot of from Jenna. Some of her needs and feelings uh, are very similar, you know, to, to having a puppy, which I've never personally have have had. But uh, you know, it's something that I feel that I personally love embracing. Puppy play is extremely important in my relationship. That's where a lot of like my my love languages lie. She constantly breathes um, on him like that. I, it's very important <laughs> to get a lot of praise, a lot of, you know, good job, you're doing great, you know, good girls. What I like about being a dog is the bond between, like, that one special person, like your owner, and yeah, like the day-to-day -day, like mannerisms of a dog that they have, you know. I like to be very carefree. <laughs> what the fuck? Nice like shot of her ass. Having, you know, <laughs> a choice because it makes life so much easier. This is probably where I feel the safest at home. Um, it's kind of like my den. It's like my, my area that I can retire to and know that I'm safe and, you know, no one can get me. The first time I saw the cage, I was um, <laughs> I was sort of uh, shocked. I mean, it was, it was a lot bigger <laughs> than I thought. But once it was set up, and I saw just how happy she was and comfortable, she she really looks good and happy. And uh, I I think it makes her a great addition to the room. Showing their puppy love on social. So we talked about yucking yums. <laughs> Shut up, shut up. Yeah, and I want to express what I feel in that discussion. I'm not going to yuck your yum as long as you leave it in the bedroom and at home. If you're bringing it out in public, no. I guess social media is one thing because as long as you're not showing nudity, you can do whatever you want for the most part. Yeah. But like leaving in public and doing that at like dog parks, I'm not for. You can have whatever kink you want to have. If you're into this, you're into this. That's fine. But... <laughs> It's so funny to see her chewing on dog balls, man. And, like, it's supposed to be sexy, I guess. How is that sexy? How is that sexy? That's not sexy. All right, That's what I'm asking. Because <laughs> puppy play inherently... I don't, I don't know, I don't well, puppy play inherently is on one of the kink lists. Yeah. How is it sexy to see your girlfriend digging in the dirt? <laughs> Does she also, like, sneak food off of plates at dinner time? Yeah, when does she turn on the puppy and turn off the puppy? Does he have to give her baths? I, I have a lot of questions now. I could come now. up with so many more questions. I started writing some down because I was like, I have so many hypothetical questions for this situation. Does he brush her hair? Does he take her to the doctor, to the vet? Does he take her to the vet? I don't How know. far does this extend? What the media has led to people questioning their roles in the relationship. Some of the most negative comments, it's probably just people saying that I'm crazy. This person is just absolutely mental, like, out of their mind. A lot of people have said, like, you know, are you being held against your will? Is he forcing you to do this? Like, blink twice if you're okay. I know myself that I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not in trouble. I, I'm i just kind of living my life out on the internet, and with that comes a lot of judgment. I try to comfort her and let her know that there may be a minority of people that feel a certain negative way about you, but you still have me that do. Why is she always bent down and like facing his dick? <laughs> Cause he's the master. You don't have to face his dick, man. It's like, this is his dick and she's always. <laughs> I'm gonna get my bow. I'm gonna get my bow. <laughs> Like, you ever seen dogs with pictures and they're laying down and they're like facing the person? Yeah. They're not like 
cock. <laughs> She's literally like, this is what I'm telling it's a kink. She's not just like, hey, yes, daddy. <laughs> like, that just doesn't happen. Still have That's fine. me that I do care about you and love what you do. We're going to go to the park. And I'm thinking we'll get some usual shots of you walking on a leash, take some videos, some photos. But what if we throw a frisbee and mm -hmm. you catch it? In my mouth? In your mouth, that's right. And if Ow. you catch it in your mouth, you know what you get, right? Do I get a treat? Yes, a treat. Yes. A treat? Yes. Yeah. Only if you catch it. Are you ready to go? Yes. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. Sit. Dogs don't talk. Sit. Right? No. That's not sitting. That's kneeling. Good girl. You ready to go to the park? Yes. I'm ready. Go. I'm ready. Go. 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 So going to the dog park is obviously one of my favorite things. When we're in public, I can see how it can be a little bit embarrassing at times. There's weirder things out there, like a girl pretending to be a dog isn't really the weirdest thing. I think just for a lot of people, it's, it's new to see it sure in the ass. way that she does it. I don't find it weird. I would say Lorenz is the best owner that I could ever ask for. She cares for me. I feel yeah. like the luckiest puppy ever. <laughs> Throw a bag. I saw her working for her. Throw a bag. Wiggle in her ass. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine throwing that frisbee? You're going to catch the frisbee, right? You're going to catch it. Okay, run. Yeah, the frisbee flies through the air. She goes, dong, knocks her front teeth out. Ah, I got to go to the dentist now. Ah, I'm bleeding everywhere. No, dogs don't talk. Bad dogs. She would be the worst role play partner in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm more, just more concerned for her teeth. Listen, when, anything in this video, I'm just concerned when, for her teeth. When he looked at her and was like, we're going to go to the dog park and I'm going to throw a frisbee, yeah? And you're going to catch it in your mouth. I was like, no. <laughs> she can't run that fast. No. And she doesn't have the mouth for it. No. She's going to go, oh, <laughs> Teeth flying. No. <laughs> They do have those little fabric frisbees, like the crinkle ones. They got, they had a plastic one. <laughs> I can imagine after after the dog park playing frisbee, she comes home with a few bruises on her face. <laughs> Everyone thinks he's beating her. No, but it was just the frisbee she missed. <laughs> listen, imagine going and doing that and then going to get back in the car and looking at her covered in dirt and oh sticks and her hair is a mess. Her mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah she's got like scratches and bruises, and, and she just looks at you. She goes, "Bath." Oh no! <laughs> like and subscribe.